it's Linda here and today I've got this sweet little project for you. It's really dinky. Now this tiny little box measures about two and a half inches long and it's an inch deep. Okay, yeah it's a, it, it is about, it's about an inch deep. Okay, so I'm going to show you what's inside. I made this box, or designed this box, to hold two green and black chocolates. Okay, so it very comfortably holds those and I just think it's a perfect little box. Now this would make, I think, nice little wedding favours actually um, and also nice little table decorations if you're having a dinner party or something like that. So this is my sweet little green and blacks chocolate box and I do hope that you're inspired to have a go today. Um, I'm going to put it to one side now and I'm going to show you how, how you can make one too. So thanks very much for joining me here today. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of cardstock which measures seven and five eighths by three and a quarter. Now today I'm working with very vanilla thick cardstock. So it comes in two weights and this is the thick version and it's absolutely wonderful quality for making boxes and 3D projects. So I'm going to be working with this bundle here, which is the wood crate framelits and the, wor the wood words, so it's the wood words bundle. So I'm using this motif here, the floral stylized one, to create my background. And I'm also going to be using that little sentiment there which says, for you. So what I want to do first is prepare my paper or my cardstock very well. And so I'm using an embossing buddy and I'm using my Versamark. And oh, what am I doing? And what I'm going to do is just pat this over here like that, making sure I've got plenty of um, like powder from the embossing buddy. And this is hopefully going to cut down on the embossing powder sticking to bits that it shouldn't, like finger marks and things like that. I'm also going to prepare this bit for the little sentiment. So I'll do the sentiment first. that to one side and then I'm just going to do this bit sorry about the glare over there it's really dark here at the moment I've got embossing buddy powder all over my hands so anyway I'm just going to randomly stamp this now And now it's just ready for me to add my embossing powder. So I'm going to be using gold embossing powder. So I've got a little bit of scrap here. Made a mess already. Well done, Linda. <laughs> there we go, that's that bit done. Turn it around. Okay, so that's ready for me to heat set. And that's my little sentiment. Look at that. Told you, I'm the messiest, messiest crafter. It's because I should have had a bigger sheet of paper, but I couldn't be bothered to go back upstairs and get any. So I'm going to take this away now, and I'm going to set this with my heat gun, and next we're going to be scoring this piece of card and creating our box. Okay, so there we go. I've heat set the gold embossing, and I've also gone ahead and I've die cut the little heart, which is going to act as the topper later on. So we're ready now to do some scoring. So taking my Simply Scoreboard, I'm trying to get rid of this awful glare, 
Uh, hopefully that's working. Um, what you're going to do is your piece of cardstock, I'll remind you of the measurements, it's seven and five eighths by three and a quarter and with the long side across the top actually working on the side that I've gold heat embossed. Um, going to score at two and a half, at three and a half, at six and at seven inches. Now I'm going to turn it around and you're going to score at one inch and at two and a quarter. And now I'm just going to go around and burnish all of these score lines. Okay, so they're done, and then it's just a question of doing some cutting. So we're going to start off by cutting down here and here and on the opposite side okay. and then we're going to cut down here like that and down here and tuck that out of the way and what you're going to do is cut this section here in half roughly in half and try and keep it nice and straight so just lose a bit like that. And then we're going to come around here. I'm going to do the other side like that. Okay, and I'm just going to bring in my corner rounder and I'm just going to round off these two corners here. Okay, and whilst I'm at it, I'm going to lose a little wedge from there and a little wedge from there. Okay, and so now we're ready to apply some double sided tape. So for the double sided tape, I'm going to run it down here. And then I'm going to pop it here and down these two sides here as well. Okay, so what you're now going to do is you're going to bring these two in. These are going to come across the top of them like that. And then this is just popping over here like this. And you're going to bring up... Whoops. You're going to bring up this side like that. And you're going to do the same on the other side. And that's just going to come across there like that. And I've just got a little bit sticking out the end here, the bottom. And I'm just going to trim that down like that. Okay, so there's our pretty little box formed, ready to take two of these lovely green and black chocolates. I'm just taking two of them, putting them back to back, and just going to pop them in like that. Okay, and there's your cute little box formed. Okay, so now it's just a question of putting on the topper. So, the topper. For the topper, I've got my little heart, which I cut out earlier. What I've also done is I've cut out a piece of glimmer paper, and I did that using my one and a quarter inch circle punch. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to place this on top of here, but what I have found, and it's quite pro problematical, is when you try popping, sticking things to glimmer paper, they don't stick for that long. It seems to be like only a temporary thing if you don't prepare the glimmer paper beforehand. So I haven't consulted lots of my crafty friends. We all decided that this is the best way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scratch away some of this glitter using this pair of scissors. So, it's going for the middle bit. I'm 
and that then gives you um, a base on which the um, glue that you're going to use, in my case I'm going to be using mini dimensionals, if I'm able to put my hands on them. So here we go, I'm going to take three of those, I'm just going to pop them here on the back of my heart, like that. And then I'm just going to stick them there into the middle of my circle and that has stuck down really, really well. Okay, and hopefully they're not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my little eighth of an inch handheld, handheld punch and I'm just going to punch out a hole in the middle here at the top of the circle like that. Okay, so my poor old camera ran out of battery. So I was just in the middle of telling you that I'm going to be using this lovely natural trim which is in very vanilla and it's got this lovely gold trim running down the centre. So I'm just going to cut myself off a piece. And I'm just going to feed it through here. Like that. I'm just going to bring the ribbon through the front, like that. And that just makes a really pretty little tag for the top of my box. So I'm just going to trim the ribbon now. That. I've just got this really pretty topper now to put on my box there, like that. So I'm just going to bring in a few more dimensionals, pop those on the back. There we go, that's my cute little tag ready to go here onto the front of my little box making sure I've got it the right way round. So that's the back of the box there. I'm going to take that and just put that on the top there and spread out the ribbon like that. So there we are, we've got these cute cute little boxes that would look nice on any dinner table um, as a little dinner party treat at the end of your dinner. Um, They'd also be good as wedding favours, things like that. So I just think they're very, very versatile little boxes. Super cute and super small. And that's it really. Job done. Um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and hope you like my little box and maybe you are going to be inspired to go away and have a go yourself. So... What I wanted to say was if you haven't already done so I would love it if you hopped over and subscribed to my blog at www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk I put all of my uh, YouTube videos onto my blog so it's regularly updated with the projects that, that I put together and also I have an online shop so if you've seen anything you like here today and if you fancy treating yourself to something I'd love you to come and shop with me um, I do treat my customers very well um, so yeah if, you, if you're feeling like you want a little spending spree come and spend with me so thanks very much for joining me today I'm going to be back again with another project for you very shortly so happy crafting and bye for now